Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mampolo from Mampolo's Corner. Rene, you're my sir. Guys, for those who God have given some valuable friends, mm. friends that matters to you, you say that they are nobody. You play with them, you use them joke, and they will leave you. <laughs> for those who think that they are islands, yeah, they are islands, I can do all things through God that threatens me. It's all right. <laughs> This video is for you. Uh, <laughs> only you, one man squad. Mm. You don't need anybody. You don't need friend. You are living life. You cannot brag that at least one person. If I call one person, one person must respond to me financially. <laughs> if I call today now, as I'm talking to you, that I will receive five thousand pounds from somebody as a friend to to rescue me in a problem. This video is for you. <laughs> I don't want to talk too much. For those who do not understand what I'm talking about, let's listen. Let's listen to this man of God. Watch video. Is there anybody in your life today who thinks you are such a big deal that you can call upon and you can guarantee that the person will respond to you? Is there someone today, if you are in a financial need, you can call him and say sincerely, this is my house rent and he says over my dead body, not when I'm with you. Can I tell you, you are sitting on a time bomb if there is no such person in your life. Mm. Believe me when I tell you, dear people of God, mm. is there someone who you can wake by 2 a.m. and is not embarrassed? He says, if it's for you, I can go that far. Many of us keep running alone. I have the Holy Ghost. Mm. Yes, you are right. But you have to understand that the way God works is that all blessings come from God through men to men. Mm. Don't forget this. All blessings come from God through men to men. If God says yes and the middleman says no, the yes remains in the realm of the spirit while you suffer on earth. Sounds. I have learned the value of quality destiny relationships. When I don't see that video, you, I, have you seen the video? Mm. When God brings people who matters to you, you discard them like a discarded material. <laughs> One day you will need them. Don't worry. <laughs> you are you are puffing. You are bragging because so much change. You did your hand today. <laughs> that change when you go finish the day you will need men. You understand the value of men. Then you understand that Bible verse that said that with God all things are what all things are possible. I will I will do all things through God that strengthens me. You know that that that, that Bible is is in connection to human human support. <laughs> That God will always use human beings to make all things possible for you. That God will make will you will always use human beings to supply all your needs. <laughs> you will understand that Bible Bible verse well. You know they quote Bible upside down. It's all right. <laughs> that is for those who you, when you as you did now you think say now only you be I am island mm -hmm. a one man squad. No go and look for reasonable friends when things are tight. When things are tight, they will help you to loosen it. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you New Year New Year resolution though. For those who have been looking for New Year resolutions, since you don't know the one, go and make good friends. I'm not saying go and make friends with uh, parasites, so all those ones that their own now give me, give me, give me, receive, receive, receive. They don't, they don't want to give out. They, it is only them that are entitled to receive. Don't make that yeah, yeah, kind of friend. The relationship is supposed to be what mutual, mutual. If your relationship is not mutuality, just detach all those ones, discard them like discarded material. But form a, a relationship, friends that matters. Men, men, well. One get capacity. Are you are you are you are you, are you normal? <laughs> now the second video from this same man of God. For those that want to live beyond their means, mm, you want to live live beyond your capacity. You want to you want to live fake fake life. You want to live fake life. You always want to impress people. Uh, <laughs> you want to go village and carry and carry Lamborghini, <laughs> Buka, Bugatti, uh, Lexus two, 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 2025. Now you carry, you go to spray for village. You want to, you want to please people and displease yourself. You want to live fake life. You want people to know that you have arrived. And people you are even, you, you are even showing all those show, show, show off to. People you are even showing all those things you want to please with your wealth, our, with your fake life. They don't even notice you. They don't know if you exist. <laughs> Nobody even know if you are existing or not. Mm. But you are you are you are gallivanting and and be you are indemnifying yourself into debt just to prove a point to people that you are you have made it. <laughs> you are you are sucking yourself into debt, serious debt. You are now a debtor just to prove to your village people that you don't arrive. You have made it. <laughs> 
Do you need it? The village people you are, you are even proving to. When this fake life will choke you, you not even see food. Chop again. You could not eat again. You know that those village, village people will run away from you. Onyala. Onyala, I'm, I'm warning you now. I am giving you good New Year resolution. Live within your means. <laughs> we just live within with, within the resources you have. You are not you are not proving any point to anybody. Mm. There's nothing you want to achieve now that many people never achieve. They don't die, leave them. They don't even care about it. <laughs> even there's no how you 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 can be even the richest. You can be richest today. Tomorrow another person have taken over. Baba, can you rest? <laughs> Let's listen to this man of God again. Watch video. That thing I would have thought about is is living a fake life. One of the major reasons. A fake life is very expensive. Write it down. A fake life is very expensive. It takes so much to fund a fake life. Mm. And once you start, you must maintain it. You must continue. If you are not there, you are not there. Mm. You can start gradually with the dignity of kingdom integrity. Mm. Don't try to buy a car that is not yet your level. Mm. Don't try to go and live in a house that is not yet your level. Mm. You are living in a house that you are owing three years rent now. You can't pay back. It's a sign you are not yet there. Mm. Get out of that place and look for a decent place. Don't there are yourself. some of us you do not yet have the means mm. to start gathering people and celebrating elaborate birthdays, elaborate occasions. No, be patient. God is bringing you there. Mm. Even for schools, as much as I would want you to educate your children at the highest level, mm. you must be wise and keep them within your budget. Mm. Find the best school that your budget can afford. Mm. If your child is on scholarship, that is fine. Mm. Otherwise, find the budget, the school that your budget can afford. Mm. But by all means, Koinonia, please hear me. Mm. Great disaster is going to befall many. Mm. And there are many who will begin to tour the corridors of compromise mm. because of this finance thing. Mm. I shall not want it's not just a prophetic declaration. Mm. It is a declaration that comes with responsibilities. When I don't hear them, mm. go and be pleasing people with your fake life. <laughs> Nobody is even seeing you. That's the problem. People who are valuable, people who have capacity, people who have too much money, people who have things to show to this life, they don't make noise. Mm. <laughs> Empty barrel make the loudest, loudest noise. Empty barrel. <laughs> are, are you hearing me? I say and empty, empty barrel make the loudest noise. If you hit and go do boom, 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 boom. Any container with substance, any container with valuables inside. If you hit and go here, keep, keep. You know they make noise. <laughs> it's <they're> fully loaded. <laughs> you say, if you say all those when they go, they don't make noise. Whoa, 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 whoa. Baba, baba, they are empty. Empty people, and they begin to fund fund this their empty life, uh, fake life, because they want they use lie to cover lie, next lie to cover next lie. The one they did not do, they say they have done it. The one they have not buy, they say they have bought. The one they bought ten thousand naira, they say they bought it two million naira. The one they pay, they buy two hundred and fifty thousand pounds, they say they bought it three hundred and seventy five thousand pounds. Lies. They use lies, lies, lies. Then when you begin to tell them, but this one is right. They say, oh, the other lie. If they use uh, it was because of yesterday. The value was this. You begin to use lie to cover lie. You are stressing yourself for crying out loud. <laughs> Be who you are. Remember who you are. I know that. I know that. Go kill yourself. Mm. Oh, I know that. Now by force. Okay. I don't want to talk too much. Let's talk to women. So women, when it be say, you know, go quick, your husband talk one, you don't talk five. It's all right. <laughs> your husband never talk one. You have already you have already spoken ten. It's all right. And you think that our marriage will last. <laughs> I'm laughing at you. It will not last. Let me give you the good news. <laughs> it will not last. You, you, as a woman, as a woman in the house, as a wife, you must learn how to bridle your tongue. <laughs> you must learn when to talk, how to talk. And where to talk, mm. especially where your where your where, where your husband is, you must learn it. Oh, don't come and tell us. Oh, we are in the United Kingdom. We have right. We may right. Ah, <laughs> that you are right. We pursue you to your your, your father's house very soon. <laughs> you think say you white, especially when you are marrying a Nigerian man or a, a conk African man. And I'm telling you the simple truth. <laughs> I'm in America. I'm in Canada. We may have right here. <laughs> we may have her upper hand here. Continue with your right. Now your right will send you to a single mother very soon. <laughs> are you going to tie the man to you? Are you normal? Are you normal? If you don't agree and do it again, he will leave you. Mm, go and marry the government that give you the law. <laughs> that give you the law. The law that give you the right. Uh, go and marry that government. I'm not the hide and tell you. Now my house will be this one. Everybody get a house. My house, there is rules and regulations that will, that will govern it. 
And he said, and I'm the head of that rules and regulation, just like the Prime Minister of the UK. Just like the, the government of, uh, what do you call it? The, the president of America. Just like the president of Nigeria. There's rules governing every house that everybody needs to go through with, you know? You need to, you need to obey those rules and all that. Uh, but if you say it's the government rule that will govern the house, that you know obey the house rule. Uh -huh. When problem comes, you go and manage the government rule and your government. Uh -huh. You become a single mother, you begin to suffer it. You're going to survive it. <laughs> I don't want to talk to my child. Renew mindset. So if you're a woman, another New Year resolution for you. Learn how to respect your husband. Mm. And in the other way, that in turn, husband, respect your wife. Oh. I'm not saying go and use your wife as a poche pal or you begin to insult your verbally abuse your wife. That's not what I'm saying. Everybody must have what is called mutual respect. Respect is reciprocal. According to people that speak English. Yes. Respect your wife and wife respect your husband. But don't say because your husband is not making it too much, he doesn't have money too much, he's not having time for you too much, you begin to run him. Run him. A man needs respect. The highest value you can give to a man or a husband is respect. Not the other one, why you people think that you are bad work. No, 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 no. It's respect. Then followed by food that we eat in our in our stomach. Then that one you people think, women think, is the third up. Is it third below? Third below. Nine, nine day. <laughs> I don't want too much. Let's listen to this beautiful girl. This beautiful lady that is that this is what we call women supporting women. Mm. A beautiful lady that is supporting women, advising women the right thing to do. <laughs> I don't want to talk too much. Watch video. A reckless woman is a woman that has no control over what comes out of her mouth. Her mouth. Because what's coming out of her mouth is really coming from her heart. Her heart. And this is where a lot of women go wrong. Wrong. They talk recklessly. They always complain. They always nag. Because they do not know how to guard their, their heart. heart. When you guard your heart, it's as if you're building a fence over your heart. So that offense cannot come in. So that disappointment cannot come in. So that you will not be let down. The moment us ladies, when our feelings are hurt, or when we're offended, or when we're in a very emotional state, we talk so recklessly. And we're not conscious and cautious of the words that are coming out of our mouths because our feelings are hurt. So not only do we have to guard our heart, but we cannot live our lives based on what we feel because your feelings can lie to you. Your feelings can cause you to believe a truth to be a lie and a lie to be a truth. And that's what it means to be deceived. That is a very good truth from a lady. <laughs> it's, this is a very young girl, but you see wisdom doesn't come by age. <laughs> I have seen some people, oh, who is the man? I am the woman. I live in the Britain. I live in America. I have the right. I know my right. Keep knowing your right. Mm. <laughs> that right you are knowing is going to put you in a mess very soon. Now me, they tell you. Now me, they tell you with guarantee. You see that right you are knowing, especially with Africa, not even with only African men. No. <laughs> even though Yibo men, that's why you see divorce everywhere. Divorce, divorce, divorce. They marry two years. They marry two years, three years, divorce. Six months, divorce. Everybody, divorce, divorce. The rate of divorce now is, is alarming because of I know my right. <laughs> I know my right. My right. And nobody say, Does you, don't, do not know your right. When you know you are right, you will hold on your right. The, the right of the other man, you don't know. <laughs> Because his right is the next action. Mm, he will serve you paper. He will leave you there. <laughs> Go and do your right with your single mother. Are you normal? Know, so in that sense, respect your marriage. Respect your husband. Husband, I swear, respect your marriage. Respect your wives. <laughs> I know they, I know they, I know they, they bias. I'm not, don't go and abuse your wife. I'm, I don't support it. <laughs> apart from, even apart from the law, whatever, don't go, respect your wife. Respect your wife. Honor your wife. Respect, respect her. Don't go and abuse your wife. And you want that same woman to be giving you respect. I balance my teaching, you know. But like what this woman said, many women, especially when if your husband don't talk, if your husband is a quiet type, you want to run him. You want to control him everywhere. You want to, you want to let the world know that you are the boss of the house. It's bad. 
It's very bad. By your marriage, if you marry, if you marry a man that have ego, uh, and let me tell you, an average man have their ego, an average man have their ego, and they deserve their respect. You don't know. They request their respect. You don't know. No matter how stupid you think your husband is, you see that his respect now is the number one. Every other thing they are secondary. I don't want to talk too much. I just want to help you with another new year, new year resolution as a woman, likewise as a man or as a husband as well, guys. If you love what you are doing here, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, even on TikTok. All I'm up for is going to love, guys. Peace out.